Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni, continuing our look at rewards from Island Sanctuary added in patch 6.2. Today we're looking at the last mount on our list uh, to actually collect uh, between my two characters and two islands that I've got to rank 10. So we've got 14,000 uh, Seafarer Cowries. If you're interested in a nice comprehensive guide that's uh, you know obviously updated regularly by the wonderful community around Final Fantasy XIV, please check out the description of the video. There's a Google Doc, uh, essentially a website, that actually predicts a lot of the, um, the, the weeks ahead. It's usually the day before um, these things happen. So I usually check it before I go to bed and uh, check what the next day would be. It's a really, really useful resource. It also has access uh, given to a Discord server uh, where people work you know, tirelessly to come up with the best um, possible solutions uh, to make you the most carries. It certainly worked for me and um, you know my friends and people I've told about it. So um, you know what better guide to make rather than you know just recommend them instead. And that's what I would love to do. So today we've got fourteen thousand carries, which we only need twelve thousand of for our last mandragora creature. So if we go over to the cowrie exchange at the horrendous hoarder. Uh, with Seafarer Carries on the other tab, you will see we've got the Eggplant Knight to do. This is the last one that we need to look at for 12,000 of our blue currency. So let's pop that one up. We've got 2,000 left. And uh, let's go and have a look at this mount. Alrighty, as we can see then, this is the Island Eggplant Knight. The summon text says, Summon forth your Island Eggplant Knight, an oversized vegetable embodiment of chivalry. Uh, it says the island eggplant knight, hailing from the self same land as the tomato king, the eggplant knight shared a crate with the sovereign when they were shipped out. However, he fell overboard when the vessel encountered rough seas and drifted for days before being deposited on a desert island. Among other feats, he prides himself on having played a key role in the founding of the West Mandra Empire more references to the West Mandra Empire there, and probably some foreshadowing about the Tomato King. Maybe that's the uh, another mount we get in the future, and probably its text will read that it's been shipwrecked. The hidden text for this one, if we highlight over the patch icon, or the icon at the bottom right, says, I thought ye were a feral turnip, a murderous eggplant, or something like that. A quote there of a tiny trader. So let's have a look at this particular mount. It probably has a squeaky, does it? Yes, it does. It squeaks. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So, uh, yeah, it's very much like the others. Obviously, we're sat on the top of it. Uh, these mounts do scale with the size of your character. So if you play a Lalafell, obviously, it'll be shorter than uh, if, if you were to play, um, you know, like a Rogadin or a Rothgar, something like that, which is always nice to know beforehand. Yeah, let's see how it walks around. Exactly the same as the others. So he's running like he's trying to catch for the, you know the bus or something like i'm late i'm late i love the little pitter pad noise i think that's brilliant uh it's flight animation he flaps his little wings like the others so yeah they're largely the same i would wager that they probably have all the same music as well i haven't tested this yet let's have a let's just go up here for a second and uh let's see what the audio is like Yeah, so it looks like that's going to be the uh, sort of new generic sort of mount music to go with this. That's cool. It, like I said before, it fits with the actual Mandragora people. I think anyway, sort of lighthearted. I would have picked this, honestly. It's nice. I love the way it glides as well. Look at that. <laughs> Oop, hitting the boundary. It is a nice mount. It is a really nice mount. And, uh, you know, if you're going to collect these, obviously you're going to want to collect them all overall. You're not going to just want one or two. Um, hopefully they bring out the Tomato King. And, uh, I don't know, what was the Queen again? I, can't, I honestly can't remember. I asked people last time to put in the comment section the name of all the Mandragora vegetable people they could remember. And I still didn't uh, soak any of that in. But yeah, egg, eggplant looking good, honestly. 
looking really good. Let me know if you've got this one yet, if you plan to get this one. Of course, um, we're getting close to finishing off all of the mounts added in 6.2 that I can get a hold of. Um, so obviously we'll be looking at other things soon. But yeah, Island Sanctuary has been fantastic so far. And, um, you know, let me know what was the first thing you went for on Island Sanctuary. I think mine was definitely the Garland uh, bike, as you probably are aware. That thing is amazing. But yes, all of the other rewards are fantastic as well and now i guess once i've once i've finished collecting all of the stuff i want it's about time to start saving for a future patch hopefully they don't leave it too long before the next update of of rewards but um you never know right it might be 6.4 or something before we hear about new updates because i don't think they're doing any in 6.3 fingers crossed that they do though that would be lovely i think a lot of people um you know, are quite surprised how Island Sanctuary is uh, it's quite popular, really, but um, not surprised to me at all. Anyway, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.